Hello, everyone. Hello, Farron. <laughs> Hello, Nancy. Welcome to another art conversation. Today, artist and NOVA's member is Nancy Stop Laughlin. Nancy um, is a NOVA member and great artist and photographer, which is joining us today in this conversation. Nancy, welcome to our conversation. Thank you so much. So happy to be here. We happy that you are in our conversation finally. As usual, uh, let's just start with you introduce yourself and what you're doing as an artist, how you started, and everything you think good to know about your background as an artist. Okay, well, I've been an artist basically since I think eighth grade, ninth grade, and I went to art school to Moore College of Art in Philadelphia and then worked as a graphic designer and then started spending my entire focus on my own work. And um, it's uh, it's my calling in life. <laughs> I think when, <laughs> I, when I get when I get down, you know, uh, because as anyone knows being an artist is probably not the easiest thing to do if you want instant gratification of sales or whatever, no matter how successful you are on paper, it's still somewhat a lonely little little bit of a world. And sometimes you're just like, well, maybe I had one moment, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. And my husband looked at me and he, he's very, <laughs> he's a businessman. And yeah. he said to me, he goes, I would think there's something wrong with you. you <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> that's it just, common. <laughs> it was so perfect because it's like, well, that's so true. This is what I do. And you just keep doing it. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I say. I know. Yeah. No matter yes, what. As you, said, as you call it, calling, right? And the yes. calling you follow. Yes. So yes. how you started? What type of art you started at the beginning? I was actually a sculpture major in, mm. in college and at, at painting and printmaking minors. Okay. And um, so I got a degree kind of in all of them, but um, okay. I, I worked for um, Seward Johnson in Princeton, which is what brought me to Princeton, New Jersey, okay. uh, and at the Institute of Technical Sculpture. And I worked there for two years and then decided I couldn't, I couldn't be working with all that material. It wasn't practical. And I found pastels as the perfect medium I just people are like you need to venture out and do other mediums I'm like nope not doing that I love the pastels I love what I can do with it and mm -hmm. they're they're difficult but I feel like I know them pretty well now after mm -hmm. all these years and so that's what I stick with it's a great way to capture mm -hmm. what I am looking for yeah so mind. what type of art you known today what type of medium you work uh, mostly today? Today, pastels. Pastels, pastels and for and the photography was actually a new a newer. It's I, I would say in the last seven years, I'm terrible at years. Maybe I yeah. two more. Maybe um, I'd, one of this 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 woman who is she was the um, the curator for Pfizer for many years, and. At, I just have such respect for her. She's a good friend now. We met actually at an opening and she one day just said to me, and it was something I had been thinking about with pastels, you can't get the hard edges. And sometimes when I want to do the, you know, this again, uh, 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 the hard edge against the soft edge and pastels, it's it still reads a soft, no matter what you do. And I thought, how can I get that contrast of the harder edges? And I was thinking, because I do all the photographs to do the drawings. I do yeah. tons of photographs. And so she said, she called me up. She goes, I never tell an artist what to do. But <laughs> I think, she goes, what about putting the photographs into your drawings? And I was like, I can't believe you just said that. I've been, I was dreaming about it. And yeah. you know, the assemblages, which is what I call them, this first one, the crystallization of the wave, the photograph is in the middle. Um, you can see the that's an actual photograph. And um, it's a giant triptych. It doesn't, you can't tell the scale of this. I think there's one slide that actually does show mm -hmm. it in my studio. 
Yeah. Okay, there it is. So that shows you the scale of it. And it's really, really, I love working big. It's not the most practical, practical thing to do. And most people's houses probably can't, don't have the space for something this big. But when you go to New York City and go to all the shows, everything is big. And you feel like, okay, I, I was so inspired, came back and did this one after being in New York for a day. <laughs> I said, okay, I'm doing it. And now I just don't want to stop. But mm. they take a long time. And, you know, they're really for corporate collections, whatever. And But corporations don't seem to be buying the way they used to. Um, it used to be that now it's the medical field, I guess. But it's uh it would make a nice statement though it really yeah. would so uh the background is pastel your uh, drawing and painting and then the foreground or uh, photo yes is the photograph yes okay yes they're mounted very care i have the this this photograph was so big i had to have it professionally done normally i just do them in my studio and have them mounted by um, a framer but okay. this one was, that was an undertaking because it's quite large and it's um, just the mounting, just the, the one thing I learned when I went to art school and uh, majoring in sculpture, I learned about, you know, using all the tools and binding and how you join things together and how important it is to think the longevity of what you're doing to make sure that it lasts, that it doesn't okay. fall off the paper, <laughs> that it doesn't. And also so, it doesn't damage the, the, the background, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's, and you have to find a framer that, that can do the, I have a new framer now who is the, both of my previous one was great too, but she didn't really want to do my large ones anymore because they're it's too hard for her so I have a new framer but he he really I'm actually this newest one which is is the slide is in here it's being framed I'm having it in one frame which will be like eight feet long oh wow okay and, but I just thought you know what the middle if I had it as a triptych the middle portion would be so big anyway I wouldn't yeah. be able to get it in my car so these are all framed these are triptychs the one on the right um they're not as big as the ones on the left. This is another one from the previous one. Yeah. Uh, but I'm starting to think that it's actually more cost efficient to have them put into one frame as opposed to three. But it's, you know, you have to think. But the, the problem with one, it's like, you know, feeding it in a room, taking exactly. it out in transportation, right? It, that's that's the bottom account. line is the transportation. And um, I figure when they get to a certain size, you're going to have to have the transportation, whether it's in three pieces or one. Yeah. So if that that's kind of, I mean, I have to hire a van anyway, a big van to take them if they wherever they all need to go. I have to do that anyway. It's just yeah. so I, I think it's worth it. Oh yeah, here's that. So uh, how long it takes you? I mean, so obviously you finished it background the pastel which is all the medium today you said you work with pastel and photography right and then you assemble okay and so I, they take quite a while especially this big one that took like three months okay and then how you choose the photographer to go with that when you making a painting when you finish do you have the idea what you're gonna assemble or what what photo you're oh, gonna right away or I you have the photo, then you paint it based on that. How you choose that? So, well, what I do first to organize the drawing, it's by the time I get to actually doing it, it's completely decided what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And I do that. I have a program on my iPad. It's called Sketch Sketchbook Pro. Yeah. I can, I can import any photograph, any scene like this wave, I can cut it up. I can, and then I try to, uh, I, first of all, I take a million photographs. So what you see here, those prisms actually were photographed on top of that wave, the photograph okay. of the wave. And okay. Then I, I can put it all together in this program, Sketchbook Pro, and bring in the photograph, size it correctly, do the shadows, the 
you know, the drop shadow in the back very subtly. And then I work from that. And because I, if I don't wing it, because if you wing it, it never, I'm not good at winging it. I need to have it totally, I need to see it in the Sketchbook Pro and know that it's successful. Yeah. And then I turn that success into the big version where, we're at, where I actually have to draw it, you know, yeah. with the pastel, because it's just a photograph on yeah. Sketchbook Pro. It's not drawn yet. Yeah. And so uh, a question, and then see, um, I mean, this is just uh, what I was thinking when I see this. I said, why you don't, why you didn't remove this white background? I mean, um, if you Oh, were, okay. That's a good question. Um, I mean, the, if you uh, uh, this white background was removed, this crystal, uh, like this um, um, photo, like it would be kind of part Photos. of it, right? Yeah. No, it's really, that's very astute that you're asking that question. Because <laughs> it really is. It's very tricky to do that because yeah. you would have to, it would have to, it would, it's still a photograph and you'd have to cut it out. You would, it would have to be literally a cutout. And- Oh, okay. Right? So you just put the photo in that, it's not computerized. I mean, I was just thinking about that, yeah. Yes, in the computer, if it was just photo on photo, oh, I yeah. could easily do that, do, yeah. do the crystal necklace by itself. And, and actually one of the drawings, one of the other ones, uh, I did do a smaller cutout, but it was an easier one. Okay this it would have looked it wouldn't have looked like it was in the wave this way yeah. it's it it's actually a pause to me it's almost like the the white was was really taking off on the phone okay the and it, it becomes its own thing if it was yeah. separate if it, i did what you're suggesting it would then be part of that wave but okay I you don't love, want it. You want it to be kind of this separation between. Yes. Okay. But if I wanted to do what you're saying, it would be very difficult because I thought of it. And yeah. it would be very difficult. It would look hokey. You know, okay. You understand. Look, did you see what I mean? I've yeah, I understand. I understand. Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. Makes that was sense. a good question because I've thought of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's because these are, I see, even the background of photo are almost the same as your uh, drawing, right? So, which yes. is okay. yes. Now, this, this, and the the photograph. I I have the, the iPhone's probably the best invention that's ever hit the earth, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> because I, now, agree. I don't miss moments, you know, of not having a camera. I used to have all these cameras, you know, these little ones. I put them. Then I couldn't find them when I needed them. You know, the phone, it's just, and the camera on the phone is so fantastic. And yeah, I know. So the, 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 um, the background is actually, it's a lake that we go to in the summer and it's, it was a misty sunrise day and the sparkle on the water in the mist. So I actually have the photograph of that. And then I took these sparkly, um, ribbon that you see and put them in these different config configurations but when you look at them and then I photograph them on top of the photograph mm -hmm. and but it's you know when there's when you have it here you go oh okay it's I feel like it's successful but to get it to that point to get that sparkle to be sparkling in the right places it's hundreds of photographs. I, I, I turn into a lunatic trying to capture it. <laughs> it's really hard to capture because the light is so bright. The camera, yeah. the eye of the camera is not the same as your eye. And, you, and so I'm constantly having to move it. And then I discovered the clone stamp on Photoshop. So I can clone the sparkle and move it to another place or I can brighten it. Yeah, and, but it has to look like it it belongs, and so the the in the middle portion of this uh, drawing, the, the the really sparkly one in the middle, I had to clone a lot of that sparkle. The sparkle was there, but I just repeated it. Okay, a little bit more. So the 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 point is, I work on the photograph a lot to get it 
to yeah. be right. Yeah, and Sanam, this is actually, it's kind of merged within your pastel painting. And I, I can tell, like, you know, when you were painting it, probably you had your foot already, already, right? Yes. And okay, yes. so it's just kind yeah, of that right. line continue from your background of photo into your pastel which is when i do the drawing i have a size i have size and position photographs that i throw away afterwards but i put them on the drawing okay. and i work around it and okay. and they're raised from the drawing about uh, half an inch okay so if you go to the side you can actually look you can look in a little bit and mm -hmm. um and the shadows obviously are really important yeah Okay, interesting. And then, so the the center one, the the there is uh, another piece here, or that's a drawing yes, here. Yes, that's a, that's another that's another photograph. It's okay. actually under that's actually placed directly, not raised onto the pastel drawing. So it's actually looks like it's almost part of the paper, but okay. the other photograph is raised. It's hard, you know, when you take photographs of the, this whole thing. Yeah, it's hard sense. to see that. Um, that it's raised as much as it is. Yeah, I mean, it's probably if you take a picture from the side, you can yes. see the elevation, yeah. Yes, yes. Interesting, interesting. So, okay, so. Uh, the just... luminosity of the blizzard. This drawing is actually in a show at the uh, National um, uh, Drawing Exhibition at University of Maryland, in Notre mm -hmm. Dame in Baltimore. And um, this is like one of my newest ones. And I'm, I just, I'm sort of obsessed with the snowstorm on the magnolia tree. But that, that's a photograph, that whole piece. But you can tell that I added all these things to it. The, so remember you were talking about doing the crystal necklace. I did do that yeah. with that one. See, okay. I, I, could, I made it all by itself and then the tran transparent background and then I could place it on top of what I placed it on but I could only do that because it's photograph to photograph yes I understand Perfectness. and what is that pink background so is that a painting the, uh, the that, pink background that, that's the I decided instead because the drawing is black and the shadows are normally black I thought you know what the the best way for this to look like it's coming away is to do a actually take off on the pink. Okay. It just added that element of okay. So you add a pink shadow. Yes. Okay. Okay. It makes sense. Yes. Yeah. Smart the smart way. Otherwise, like you know, uh you kind of would be bland completely, but you want this to be yeah. 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 All right. Uh, very interesting. So I mean uh I mean the, the almost it's like one tree which is the photo is like the trunk yes. middle of trunk and the branches yes Continue. and then my version you know in the background which is extended oh interesting very nice beautiful and this is the same thing but this, you is, the same. Now, this is a this is the one that's going to going in the eight foot frame this okay one. oh and it's big it's as big as the other one okay but so uh, what you gonna uh, uh, do you still gonna have the gap uh between these three yes and, okay yes no you ask really good questions Karen <laughs> I don't know I mean I just I mean this is uh, uh I'm curious about <laughs> see yeah. how you put for yeah. me I don't do much bigger scale I started I have some bigger scale work but my work are so tiny often yes and, uh when it comes to larger size I'm always curious how you handle different large size yeah, well, the space in between to see that's that was how this framer talked me into putting it in one frame. And he had a really he he's he thinks things through so much. I mean, I thought I did. And he took me to another level that when you if you if, when you put the triptychs like there's one photo of one of the other triptychs. I saw this in New York. It was a giant piece. It was framed in three giant frames but they put the frames right next to each other so it looked like the frames became the gap okay uh, and it's like a window it's like a window exactly exactly yeah i mean i i have one of these triple and and i painted from my windows in new york city from my apartment 
because it was three panels. So what I did, they actually closed and opened. So I put one of those things between the frame, like a door. Yes. So the two panel come on top of it and it open and close. So that's how I connect them. Yes, um, but it's, it's interesting because this way, especially with this one where the tree is, you really want it to look like the tree is connecting to the exactly. other panels. You don't want them to be so far away from each mm -hmm. other. So in this one, it, it made sense for this particular one to have it in one frame. So yeah. you don't get disturbed by the, you know, the frame space in between and the tree just goes out. Yeah. Interference. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. All those flowers um, also a painting or they are? Uh... Those are drawn. They are drawing. Okay. Yeah, so those are drawn. Those are pastel. Okay. Wow. Very interesting. It's like almost you made them look um, 3D, um, like the background so flat and the flowers are popping yes. out, which is... Yes. Yeah. That's, that's the key in all of these. Um, you have to have the three-dimensional sculptural something that just pops. <laughs> that's... <laughs> Because you have the background, so that's why you can see you have the eyes of a sculptor. So yes, yes. So and and it's the 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 prisms are drawn too. The only thing that's a photograph is is the big tree in the middle. Oh wow, very interesting. And all are pastel, which is good. All are pastels. Yeah. yeah, that's one of the medium I never tried, and I don't know, like you know, the ability. To create so the tiny, tiny. The tiny. Uh, here's the one I cut out. The the one okay. we're referring to. See the the circle. Yeah, yeah. that's the one I cut out and put on. But that worked because it's it's sort of one piece rather exactly. Than because so for that, that you would have to cut within, and there are a lot tiny tiny gap. Exactly. Okay. Oh, all right, all right. Exactly. So. But this and it's photograph, photograph, and the rest is all pastel. Okay, and the same thing with this uh, marble, right? These are yes. these, and those, those are, are sort of the three dimensional objects. I always have to have something, and that's always what I I tend to use the marbles a lot because of, of you know the sparkle. They just somehow they just work. I have not put them in the lab. I'm trying to wean myself. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just trying to see what can I what can I use that's not those even if there's just one in the drawing it just sets it off but you need to have that yeah that I mean most of the subject of your work um, I see as uh, you know in this powerpoint are mostly wave and water and trees right is that a yes. uh, majority of your um, subject Yes, I treat, it seems to be water because there's so many different aspects of, of water that I have waves, you know, different lakes, oceans, uh, salt flats, all, there's so many different ways to do it. And it's really the photograph is really what is, is the catalyst in, in all of these. So, yeah. but I tried, I'm trying to, um, I think the word is simplify a little bit. Like some of them, the older ones are more complicated. This is a newer one, but okay. some of the older ones, I have so much going on. And because I like to keep myself interested and, you know, okay, I get to do that next rather than, you know, you see these beautiful paintings, drawings where it's so meticulous and repetitive. And I'm just like, I don't know if I have the patience to do that. Yeah. I do so but I'm trying to like to me this one is is simplified a little bit it's just I mean still I'm sure you put a lot of work look at the wave and the water and different color yes. you added. I mean this is uh, not so simple no when it's not it. it's I not mean so for simple. people when you look at it it's like it's water but for artists when you look you know like how much time you spend to create all these textures so yes. And, and pastel, the problem with pastel, when you photograph it, pastel is very three-dimensional in its own because it's it has texture to it. And yes. when you photograph it, like what I'm seeing here, it 
you know, it flattens it a little bit. But when you see it in real life, the, the tones, like the, the, the ice blue on the right hand side there, that, that, that's so important, that glow of that wave in the drawing yeah. that, I mean, I see it here because I know it's there, but when you see it in real life, it's, it's really apparent. Yes. Where it's, it's important that, that you see through that wave, it's Caribbean water. Yeah. I mean, that's uh, uh, like real seed in real, always different, you know, I mean, it's a different, give you different experience and you see it in person, you kind of touch the texture. Yes. When through photo, it's just everything flat, right? Yes. You can get the same experience. It's and um, are you um, sealing this before you putting the No, I don't, I have never, uh... I've never put fixative on my pastels. I work on a paper, it's called um, a Stonehenge okay. and it's actually an etching paper. So it's, you know, etching paper you put in the water and, you know, get it wet and it's it's meant to absorb. Okay. So I have, there's so many layers. It's hard to tell when you see these, but there is, there's so much pastel on each panel of these and um, it absorbs the the pastel and I use my fingers to rub it in. And so I don't fix them. It doesn't, I've had, you know, drawings, I've, you know, collectors that have collected them. There's no pastel at the bottom. And even if there was a little tiny bit, who cares? Because yeah. it's part of the ruins. beauty of work, you know? Yeah, the fixative ruins the color absolutely ruins it and yeah. and plus it's so toxic i can't i don't want to breathe that stuff but i i've never had a problem with with them falling apart i mean the only problem i had one time is johnson and johnson had one of my drawings and i think some of the cleaning people sprayed oh you know, okay water or something <laughs> and you know to clean it i don't know what they did but a little bit of moisture got inside the frame and oh, goodness. grew. Yeah. And, uh, oh goodness. They called me up and I I replay I just gave them another drawing. I'm like, this was years ago. Yeah. And I didn't place the blame. I didn't, you know, it's like you just do the right thing and just call yeah, it. It's sad. I mean you if you get moisture them. in any type of painting, not only this. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, and, I, and I use plexiglass, so they're not, I don't frame them with glass because for obvious reasons, transporting and everything and just the weight. Yeah. And they're, because they're, they're, they're float framed, you know, they're way back in the frame. The plexi is pretty far away. When, yes. you, when you take That's them out of the frame, you might see a little bit of a ghost of the yeah. drawing. On, on the plexi, but not normally. Yes. You don't normally see that. And you don't see it when you're looking at it. It's only when you take it out, you yeah, see Okay, it. I understand. Yeah, and then probably it's safer. And as you said, um, it's the weight is one of the issue for transportation yes. and safety, yes. which is to solve the problem, right? Okay, so, and this is still part of the same series of, this is board. still part of the same yeah. series, and the, here, see, I love those marbles. See, I look at that, and then I'm like, oh, I might have to go back to that again. <laughs> <laughs> they are beautiful. These are drawing, right? The marble are part of the- This is all drawn, yeah, except oh, nice. photographs, there's two photographs. But I just, I sort of love that background of, you know, just, I don't, I just, this, I have so many people respond to this one. So many people. I'm actually in a magazine this month called View, and okay. this was the this was the drawing where they said, "Oh yeah, we want we want to feature you." It was this drawing that yeah that he was so attracted to. Very interesting. I see this like you know the how this kind of merged together those uh, water dripping and then the marble and yes. What's, what's the photo on the back here? This, this isn't it's right? just they're just like little pieces of crystals and and a little bit of sparkle. It's it was just enough to accentuate you know the green of the field that 
this was, I was going out my driveway, getting the mail, and this is the farm across from us. And I, I took the picture from, because the windchill wipers, I turned them off. I love the drops of rain and took this picture and then just did the airbrush, you know, stripes. Okay. Um, turned that into the triptych, you know, just, um, you can still see, I just literally did a very light. I see airbrush. that. Um, with Photoshop and you can still see the drops behind it, but that's the field across from our driveway. And oh. so I just love, I love that photograph. And then just this all went, this all worked with that. Yes. Yeah. It's like, look like part of it. You just have a zoom in um, background and then yes. zoom out in the foreground, which is very interesting. Okay, here's here's another. This is the, a smaller triptych. See, this is so hard to capture in a photograph, but the it's very blue, <laughs> clearly. Um, the uh, so the photographs are in the middle. Okay, it's hard to see. You know, it's interesting when I see it on the screen like this. It's it's hard to really see that, um, but you can see the photograph. It's the same ocean in the uh in the top above yeah okay and it's the ocean in the rain all right and then how about this uh, the two side panel are these uh part of the drawing or these are yes. all okay. yes those are the crystals those are the i don't know they're almost like the candlesticks on each side of <laughs> on the dining room table they were just the accents to okay to just accentuate what's going on in the middle but i just um that was the beginnings of my triptychs but this these are small they're not they're not as big as the other ones i shouldn't say I still still 24 to by 25 which yeah. is quite um yeah quite large for the size that means i know in your website i just want to go quickly to your website before uh we moved uh, which is your work uh your website is quite easy to navigate i see you divided your work uh oh, yeah. between yeah that your past yeah, no, this is before i did the assemblages this was this was what i did before so this and is all of them are drawing even these this are all drawings there's no photographs in these okay and, okay you know it's an interesting thing because i've i'm now doing the photographs you know on the drawings so i don't I'm not, I'm not just doing these, but I, even though they're my older works, I thought it's important to keep them as a, as this is the, the progression. Yes. And it's, it's all part of, you know, so they can see where I began, where I am now. And, you know, the photographs, I, I, um, so many people love the photographs themselves. These are what I work from, you know, to do the drawings or to get inspiration for the drawings. And I haven't been concentrating on perfecting them as much because I'm just not, I'm really interested, more interested in the drawings themselves. Yeah. And, and using the photographs to use in a drawing, but not by themselves as much as I was before. Yeah. So I see like even your drawing before adding photo, it was look like assembling photo. So it just, when you look at it, um, yes. the idea was there. Yes, you're right. Uh, because, yeah. You're right. That's exact. And that's where you needed that hard edge. Because yes. it just, just a little bit. Yeah, I understand what you are explaining now. I understand yeah you changed it to, instead of drawing everything yeah. you add that physical yeah it makes sense so the idea was there it's not like exactly 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 so and this one this was another trying to simplify you know with just the bare minimum but i love this one too because this is um it's just this is why I do so many photographs, just wherever I am, just take pictures because I can always use it. I'll find a, you know, two years down the road, I'll find a use for that. Yeah. I need something to 
you know, add to this? What can it be? And I just go through my yeah. arsenal and just, you know, concentrate and put them in folders on my iPad, possible new drawings. I have more folders that say possible new drawings. Yeah. <laughs> the, the worst part is trying to find the one that you know you took. And yeah. To find it. I mean, but yeah, but if you, um, you know, you know, you memorize the photo you took. So when you draw and yes. you said, okay, I have idea to put, you know, where to look for it. I mean, yes. you may have to grow, go through a thousand or hundred. Yes. That one, but you yes. know, to look for it. Exactly. I know it's there. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's there. I mean, it's look like you're quite organized person. You're not like me. So yeah, I put something somewhere and I forgot. <laughs> oh God. And now I think I defy what um, people think of as as artists. I'm very I'm very business oriented and think things through. And you know, you don't you have to in order to get anywhere. Yeah, exactly. Where it's not like the movies where you know you're standing in line and someone says, "Wow, your your art's really good. I'd like to show you around the world." You know, it doesn't. That it's never happened. Happen. That not oh. often happen, I should say. But yeah. No. And then the ones that it's happening to, some of them, you're just like, okay, really? <laughs> How did that happen? I know. So it's <laughs> like there are a lot of do and don't and, you know, yes. a yeah. struggling to reach where you want to reach, where, where you want to get. And mm -hmm. often it doesn't happen easy. <laughs> no, it doesn't. That's why you just keep doing what you do. And yeah, then, you do for at least, you know, for your own love, for your own satisfaction. Absolutely. That's artist does. Now, this okay, one. I mean, this okay, one sorry. For sorry, I interrupted you. I'm sorry. No, I mean, uh, I was about to say we are almost at the end of our discussion. So um, we um, need to summarize. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe just flash through some of the other ones just. Or yeah, so I just want to, if if it's okay if it, uh, with you, just to scan through some of this. I mean, this is, I see, this is like several layer of uh, photo, right? At least yes. all. Okay. And there's only one photograph, though, and it's that, that one where your arrow is. That, okay, that, that whole piece, that whole where the shadow is, anything that's on top of that shadow. Okay. So this is, this is, this is drawing, this is drawing. So there are three background. Yes. Photo on top. Yes. See, that's this is the complicated. This is this is where I was trying to simplify. Yeah, that, I mean, that's very so interesting. Like, but it is interesting. See, I go back and forth. I do. Yeah. That means I see. I mean, to me, when you look at it yeah. from far, you see three different photo, like one, two, three, four. Yes. You know, yeah. almost the photo you put it. I see the shadow came and kind of divided. Yes, uh, compared to add, uh, the other, but for other also you have little shadow. So I see this little shadow, which is you yes. add to make it this like you know three D looking. Yes, stand out. Yeah, I like showing dimension. Yeah, so which is I can see I mean, that was the idea was there. So, and this is uh, the same series as um, the, the one the early we saw the larger. Okay. And this is all in one frame. Oh, this yeah, that's in one frame. Okay also um, so this is the those are the all in one frame are the newer work of yes yes and i do this is the only really yellow one i did and i just i i do love this one yeah. um so why but, why you do blue you like the this blue tone or blue value You're... i think the blue is just be, it's because i love water and okay. it's, it's, it's i think it's just the ocean it's that's the color and but I maybe I'm going to start doing fields maybe and you know I, I I am I'm still figuring it out but I love the snowstorms I'm still sort of obsessed with the snowstorms <laughs> which we didn't have much this year so but no we did not but at least you have the art you know to yes for your oh, pleasure oh. and that's photo. right as you can see there's a lot of the snow here it yeah. is too. This is an older one too. Not so older. this is also several layer. This of... is also several layers. This is where the the photographs are the three that are piled on top of each okay. other. Okay. Already makes sense. 
And that's the um, scale we saw. All right, um, Nancy, thank you very much. Do you have any last word? No, or but I just thank you so much. I just, I'm so honored to be interviewed by you. And I think NALA is such a, an amazing organization. I, I think it's, I'm so happy that you exist. And, you know, it's been a really good thing for me to be part of it. And I'm just so happy to do this interview. Yeah, Ms. Novo, it's like, you know, what we do at Novo and Novo does is to promote our artists, bring yeah. us together as a family. So that's the job I think Novo does. And um, that's really a um, good opportunity for me also to get inspired and talk to different artists. That's what I love. Yeah, well, you do a very good job. I have to say you really do. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Nancy. We really Thank enjoyed you. this conversation. Your artwork are beautiful and Thank inspiring. You. Thank and you so much. Thank you. Keep creating. Thank I you very will. Much. I won't stop. I <laughs> don't stop. Thank you Thank so you. much. Yeah. Bye.